What's up, everybody? Meet Alan Brown. He is the director, right, of the, uh, give the whole title here. Uh, this is the Earth Experience Museum. Earth Experience Museum and the director, what's the address here? Uh, 816 Old Salem Road awesome. in Murfreesboro. Awesome. And we are here to show off something really, really cool. Right behind us is a Triceratops head skull, the whole thing right here that just came in, right? Yeah. Uh, we actually just went last weekend, uh, mm -hmm. drove all the way to Montana. Yeah. Uh, it was about 1,600 miles one way, Oof. loaded up the skull turned around and drove all the way back. All so the way it back. was 3,300 miles of driving in four days. Gosh, I bless. This, and this thing is huge. How much does this thing weigh? Uh, the, we estimate that the weight of the skull and the plaster protecting it, everything is about 2,500 pounds. Oh, yeah, I was, I was lucky enough to be here when they were unloading it off the truck initially. And yes, it's quite heavy. We were had to push it in. It was quite a handful. But, but uh, something like this, how old is this thing? Um, so this skull is about 66 million years old. Oof. Um, so it was around the same time as T-Rex mm -hmm. and was kind of towards the end of the time of the dinosaurs. Oh, dang, all right. Now, it's, I see it's, it's all covered up in plaster, right? So that's how you shipped it here? Right, so yeah. the bone is pretty fragile and yeah. it breaks really easy. So when we transport something, we have to protect it. And mm -hmm. so, yeah, we cover the whole thing with plaster. Um, there's probably at least an inch of plaster over the whole thing and okay. probably two inches in some places. Yeah. I see some of it's un uncovered over here. It looks like you're getting into it. Yeah, we, we couldn't wait. As soon as we got it in the door, yeah. uh, we were starting to cut away some of the plaster yeah. and see what we've got underneath as far yeah. as the bone and the rock. And I got stuff. you. Well, I know some people are going to ask when they see this. So we got the head. Where's the rest of it? So most times you don't find complete skeletons. Okay. Uh, when animals die, scavengers will come mm -hmm. in and pull them apart. So you may only have parts of it that way. Also, in order for something to be a fossil, it has to be buried, and not everything gets buried. Okay. So sometimes only you get a single bone, mm -hmm. sometimes we get a single skull. I got you. But yeah, the, the complete dinosaur skeletons are extremely rare. Okay. Well, something like this, as big as this is and intact, how, is this pretty rare to find too? Uh, yeah, um, the Triceratops skulls are probably one of the more common skulls to find okay. because their bones are so thick. Yeah. They're thick and heavy, and so they, they can get uh, they could survive the scavengers yeah. and everything a okay. little bit longer. I know we got this little guy here. So this is what it looks like, right? Fully right. formed, uncovered. Right. And so it is sitting about like this. Mm -hmm. uh, both of the horns are broken off. Okay. And we're not sure if we're going to have any of the nose horn or not. Okay. Uh, but the rest of the skull, hopefully, is yeah. all here. And it is even possible that as the horns broke off, mm -hmm. they may still be down in here somewhere and we may find them when we're uncovering. Something. Very cool, okay. Well, I know this, is, so is this, can people come in and just take a look at this right now and see um, it on display? Yeah, so we're in, we're in our big room mm -hmm. here at the museum yeah. and uh, it's wide open. Uh, you can't come all the way back here, yes. of course, uh, but we're gonna have people working on this mm -hmm. uh, pretty much constantly. So awesome. anytime you come to the museum, you can see this. Uh, you can see us and we'll be uncovering more and more of the plaster yeah. every day and cleaning up the bones yeah. and you can watch it being done. That's so cool. So Murfreesboro, we got an actual Triceratops skull here. That's really cool. You come see right for yourself. But for those who haven't been here, what kind of other stuff you got? All right. Well, we've got lots of dinosaur bones. I've mm -hmm. been digging dinosaur <laughs> bones for 14 years now. Um, so we've got bones from T-Rex and more mm -hmm. Triceratops and dozens of other dinosaurs. Uh, we've got our Tennessee fossils. We've mm -hmm. got rocks minerals, meteorites, um, Native American artifacts, hey. uh, and a pretty good collection of modern yeah. animal skulls too. That's awesome. And you had a big giant T-Rex right here, right behind the camera over here. So tell us about that real quick. Yep. So this is a cast. It's an exact mm -hmm. copy. Um, in fact, it's such an accurate copy of the yep. original fossil. We can do scientific work on it. Oh, okay. Um, the original T-Rex is at the Museum of the Rockies in Bozeman, Montana. Okay. He's 38 feet long. Yeah, this guy's a monster. He's huge. Oh my gosh. So he's crouching over here. It looks like he's in hunting mode or something. <laughs> yeah, we had to kind of fit him into the room yeah. as we put him together. Uh, we desperately need more space, but this is what we have this right now. This is what now. you got. All right, cool. Well, w one more time before we wrap up your, your address, and if people want to yeah. find more about you, how can they contact you, sure. all that sort of stuff? Um, uh, the web address is uh, earthexperience.org. Uh, we're at 816 Old Salem Road in Murfreesboro. Cool. Well, I'll link all that in the description of the video. So if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. We appreciate it, and we'll see you all in the next one.